So now uh, we are continuing our class. Now we know of some identities. Let's quickly go through the identities. We know that cosec theta is 1 over sine theta from our previous class. Sec theta is 1 over cos theta. Cot theta is 1 over tan theta. And then cot theta gives us cos theta over sine theta. This is because tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos um, theta, right? And we also know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. And here, if I decide to make cos square theta the subject, then cos square theta will be equal to 1 minus sine square theta. And then if I decide to make sine square theta also the subject, then sine square theta will be equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So now we know of these basic um, identities, all right? Let's look at how we are going to use these basic identities to solve this, right? We are to prove that sine theta plus cos theta cot theta is equal to cosec theta. Now, we know that cosec theta is the same as what? 1 over sine theta. So basically, we have to prove that if we work on this, we're going to get 1 over sine theta. And when we have proofs, we can sometimes prove from the left to the right or from the right to the left. But looking at this, it's going to be very easy and very interesting if you are to prove from right to left. All right, so we are taking this one, all right? So we are taking sine theta plus cos theta cot theta. We are going to prove that this is equal to this. All right, we know anytime we are asked to prove, students are always wondering, what should I do if I'm to prove? You know that there is no way we can simplify sine and cos again because already they are, in, they are in their simplified form already. So anytime we are asked to prove something in trigonometry, all we have to be looking out for is cosec, sec, cos, cos squared theta, sine squared. These are the things we have to be looking out for because they are the things we can express them in another form. But for sine, we cannot do anything to sine. It will always remain sine. For cos, it will always remain cos. But for courts, there is another identity for courts. So these are the things we have to be thinking about. So we have court theta, but we know courts can be expressed at what? Cos over what? Sine. So immediately we have to go and then change our court here to its simplified form, which is what? Cos theta over sine theta. So let's go. Now we have sine theta, okay, plus cos theta multiplying now we have cos theta over sine theta let's go now if i multiply this and that what am i going to get i'm going to get sine theta plus cos square theta all upon sine theta now this becomes normal fraction for instance if i have one upon two plus one upon three what do i do 3 into 1 will give me 3, 2 into 1 will give me 2, then 2 into 3 gives me 6. It's the same thing we are going to apply here. So sine into sine is going to give us what? Sine square theta plus 1 into cos square theta is going to give us cos square theta upon 1 into sine theta is going to give us sine theta. Alright, but see, we only want to be left with 1 over sine. That is cosec. But we are having cos square theta here. But we know that cos square theta from here is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So what do we do? We can simply come and put this 1 minus sine square theta here. Right? Okay. So we're going to get sine square theta plus 1 minus sine square theta all over sine theta. Okay? Now we have sine square theta minus sine square theta. This is going to give us zero. So we're going to be left with only one over sine theta. So we have one over sine theta, which is our cosec theta. So it's equal to cosec theta. Hence, proved. That is juicy, right? It's very interesting. Math 
It's lovely at Petra Training Institute. Thank you.